This episode of Grip Tips has been brought to you by M Squared Studio, and if you'd like to help out the channel, you can visit my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. We're back, we're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we're talking about the telescoping wall spreader that I just bought. Now before we go any further, I just want to say that if you haven't seen my other wall spreader episodes, I highly recommend going back and checking those out first, as you might be a little confused as to what we're talking about today. In my previous tube stretcher pipe wall spreader episode, we demonstrated the way to use a wall spreader that requires speed rail as opposed to wood, and this one is very, very similar to that one with the exact same parts as before. Modern Studio Equipment offers this kit, which is a standard one and a quarter speed rail wall spreader. So if you already own this kit, you just need to buy the upgrade, which is these two parts. One part is a piece of speed rail that has a single slot cut inside of it, it kind of looks like this. The other part is kind of like a reducing adapter where one side can fit on a standard one and a quarter speed rail and the smaller end reduces the size down from one and a quarter to one inch. And we're talking in terms of schedule 40 sizes. Since we're reducing down to one inch, that means we'll need one speed rail at one and a quarter and another speed rail at one inch, which I also bought from Modern in eight foot lengths. Okay, so I guess there's really three parts that you have to get. You gotta get the, the sleeve uh, that's got the slot cut into it. You have to get the little reducer adapter. Those come in like a package from Modern. And then you also have to get a one inch, eight foot speed rail. If, if, that's, if that's what you're going to, I mean, you could do any length that you want. You could do uh, a 10 foot, one and a quarter and a 10 foot, one inch. Uh, but you get the idea. You, you want the sizes to match as far as length, and then you want one and a quarter and one inch. Now let's get into the assembly. First, take your one and a quarter pipe and take the gold sleeve reducer uh, thingy and mount it to your pipe using a speed wrench or an Allen key and only tighten the side that is closer to the one and a quarter pipe. Once that's done, take your one inch pipe and slide it inside of the reducer sleeve thingy for pretty much the entire length of the pipe, but leave yourself about eight inches on the end then tighten the other set screw down just to hold that in place. Now you can set that aside and move on to one of the end pieces of your kit. You'll take the speed rail that has a slot cut into it and insert that piece into the part that connects to a pancake apple box. You wanna make sure that the slot is lined up with the set screw of that piece. Once you have that nice and lined up, you'll then tighten the set screw, but you don't wanna tighten it too much. We just wanna make sure that the speed rail slot sleeve whatever that's called is trapped inside with the freedom to be able to move around about three or four turns ought to do it. You'll then mount your end piece to an apple box like we've done in past episodes, making sure that the pancake is wrapped in duvetine. Mount the pancake to the speed rail and tighten the set screw the rest of the way down to lock everything into place. And it's never a bad idea to try and twist the rail to make sure that it's securely fitted. Now we have the middle and one end piece done. Now move down to the opposite side of your wall spreader to the jack side, which is not any different than what I've shown in the past. You'll mount the speed rail sleeve onto that rail, then tighten that set screw down, then mount the jack to a pancake and slide that into the sleeve. And now you have officially built a telescoping wall spreader. Set up as a two man job, just like any other wall spreader, but you can lay this spreader on the ground to get you in the ballpark of how far you need to spread. You'll then loosen the set screw that holds the inner one inch rail and start spanning to the length that you need. Once you have done that, tighten that same set screw down and with the help of another person, lift the wall spreader into position and start mounting to the walls. Once it's mounted in position, give it a shake test and if it passes that, you can begin mounting lights or whatever kind of rigging you need overhead. This is such a great rig and I think Modern Studio Equipment is the only one that sells it right now. Um, it does a whole bunch for you as far as making you more productive and, and quicker because if you had something like this, pre, like just the pipe in itself, maybe that the end pieces of that, but if you just had the pipe assembled on your truck, think how quickly you could put up a wall spreader uh, because you don't have to cut lumber. You don't have to do the math to figure out what exact lengths of speed rail do I need to kind of couple together anything. This completely takes all of the guesswork out of it. And as long as you're in the ballpark, you know, um, the room that I'm spreading in, which is actually the room that I'm standing in right now, um, it's like 11 feet, six inches. And so I don't even have to know that math. I only know that from the other episodes. This makes it so that I just have to get close. I, I think I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but I'm just saying like this is such a great idea. Uh, if you don't have this kit, I definitely would recommend uh, checking out Modern Studio Equipment's website. I'll also leave a link to that in the description below. Last but not least, I have something to show you. You guys had asked about it, so I'm delivering. That's right. We now come in black. Show blacks. I don't know why I did not think about that at first. I guess I was just really loving the gray. 
Um, but uh, yeah, my Grip Tips t-shirts now come in black. Um, in addition to that, if you guys remember Brandy Tannehill, she was helping us out with our ratchet strap uh, episode. She asked if we could get women's uh, cuts, styles. They now come in ladies' styles. So we have lady styles, gray or black. We've got men's styles, gray or black. And I also decided that because I haven't given anything uh, away for a while and with the celebration of having the new black and women's cuts, I'm gonna offer a very special coupon code. So basically, when you buy the black t-shirt with the gray t-shirt, you'll get 25% off of the gray t-shirt. This offer is only gonna be valid until October 13th, and just remember to use the promo code GRAY25 at checkout, and you'll be good to go. When it comes to your G&E rental house needs, M Squared Studio is not only that, but they're also an insert stage located in Parsippany, New Jersey. Within the Manhattan zone in just 30 minutes from Midtown, the studio provides discounted or free delivery rates for your production. You can check out some of their latest work by following them on their Instagram page, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Or if you have any questions about what you've seen in today's episode, or maybe you're looking for a rental quote, you can feel free to reach out to them at www.msquaredstudio.tv. But sadly, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you liked today's episode, please let me know in the comment section below. You could also follow me on my Twitter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, maybe you just want to say hi, uh, you can do that right there. Again, those t-shirts, I'm only giving that discount out until October 13th, so make sure to get on that, griptips.net. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time right here on Grip Tips.